Seven Keys to a Healthier Life, helping women fight stress, sleep soundly, and feel their absolute best. We've heard from so many of you, our Dollar Saving Divas podcast listeners, that you're having a difficult time leaving a rating and review for the podcast in iTunes. So here's a painless way to do it. Go to www.pleasereviewmypodcast.com backslash DSD for an easy step-by-step tutorial to follow. That's www.pleasereviewmypodcast.com backslash DSD. Okay, Leslie, I don't know about you, but I'll pick up anything that says that's going to help us fight stress, help me sleep better, because I love my sleep, and just feel good. I mean, we know diet and exercise and other things, but there's 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 several other things that you can do as well. And I think the really important one is, I think we talked one time about our sleep. We should be sleeping like, I don't know, something ridiculous, like so many hours a day. We yeah. think, well, we'll just sleep for 16 hours and we'll drink wine for the rest right. or something like that. <laughs> but it says if you if you don't think you're getting seven to nine hours of sleep, you need to start adding like 15 to 20 minutes a night. Um, think about it this way. There's plenty of appointments with people like you set up a time to go have coffee with your friend. Um, so figure this is like an appointment to have some time for yourself and do the same yeah. thing. Yeah, well, it's so go important sleep. to get a good night's sleep. I feel it. If I don't get my seven to eight hours, I, I can really tell the difference. Well, and I've been going, I go to bed earlier than I used to when I was younger because I wasn't out, not out partying till. 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. But then I also get up earlier, and I feel like I get a lot more accomplished in the morning, too. So then I think my stress level's down. So that can kind of be twofold, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And here we have some tips here. These are from Ariana Huffington, who I think is great. I've heard her speak, and she's she has a lot of really good things to say about taking care of yourself. But one of the things she recommends is learning to meditate, which I am terrible at. I've oh, tried. I can't um, I just, I'm not good at it, but... Um, meditation could be a long-term solution that can help you sleep better at night. So if you can get into the habit of meditating 30 minutes every evening, um, that can actually help your lower your stress level and help you get a better night's sleep. I just... I can't do that. I know. Well, I've tried. I can do it. I can go for like, you know, five or 10 minutes and then I'm thinking about my to-do list and... Well, but, you know, well, the grocery but, list and what I have to do next. No, so. like I keep magazines and stuff in my bathrooms. Do you think I could just go in the bathroom and read a magazine and <laughs> do that's meditation? you want to call that meditation? Okay. It's quiet <laughs> time. I'm by myself. No one will interrupt me. No, I, well, it might work. Yeah. No, I don't do meditation. Well, another thing, and this is a biggie, disconnect during the day. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about you, but I do not keep my phone glued to my body. Like, you know, my daughter yeah. does. She'll like, why didn't you answer my text? Why didn't you answer my call? Why didn't you do this? I don't take my phone everywhere. If I'm downstairs doing laundry, my phone might just be upstairs in my <laughs> office. And you know what? It'll just have to wait. So I think you, you know, deliberately need to put your phone away. Like, you know what? We have our phones out right now. You know what? I'm putting my phone away. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, it's almost an addiction. Like you're waiting for that next yeah. chime or ding and like, or yeah, you, buzz, yeah, that's, and, that's and you've got to look like at it. You send somebody a text, and it's like, okay, did he answer me yet? Did he answer me yet? So it's like, go to lunch, which I think is rude anyway. You don't go to lunch with people and yeah, keep you your need phone to keep out. it keep it in your and in I your purse know, or in your car, right? Or something. And you go out with dinner with friends. You don't keep your phone out. Well, and I think a lot of families now have this. Um, kind of rule, you know, you don't take a phone to the dinner table. No, phone's at the dinner table. Absolutely. I think that's like, that's definitely, no, no, no. And it's just plain rude anyway. Yeah, I agree. Well, another recommendation for um, a healthier life is to volunteer on a regular basis. And just, you know, volunteering gives you that that life satisfaction. It can often lift your mood, helps with depression, um, gives you a better sense of well-being. And there's just a lot of really fun volunteer opportunities out there that you could do <clears throat> for long-term or, you know, just even some short-term opportunities. You can go online at idealist.org or Volunteer Match. and Or just find some, because we both volunteer. I know. Find some great, there are great organizations out there where you can volunteer, and it really does make a difference, not only for you, but for the people that you're helping. A- absolutely. I think you're totally, and I think, and then you know what, the, it's that feel better feeling mm-hmm. you well, know? if you're helping somebody else it's going to make you feel better yeah it's like oh somebody that you know isn't as 
well off in certain mm-hmm. aspects of their life as, as you are. Well, we were talking about phones, and this is another one that I definitely do. Charge your phone outside your bedroom. I would no more put my phone in my bedroom and charge it in the man in the moon. I've got a charger in my office, and I have a charger on my first floor, and um, it really can distract you uh, because, you know, if your phone's sitting right there by your bed, it's kind of like, even though if you have it on Do Not Disturb, you're going to pick it up and like, okay, who's texting me? Who sent me an email? Got to do my to-do list. Yeah. All those different things. And it's just, and that blue light suppresses yeah, melatonin. The, and I didn't know that. But the blue light. I mean, think of all the devices you have in your house that have that uh, blue light. Yes. Like, I mean, you've got all kinds of lights, they say, at night. It can be really disruptive. So, well, that's what I do. I just have, you know, and then... Overnight, your phone gets charged. You get charged. Ha, ha, ha. And then you can just get up in the morning. Your phone's charged. You can go in your office or whatever, you know, and just do that. If you if you feel like you have to have something by your bed because you're going to come up with, you know, an idea in the middle of the night, I sometimes will put a little piece of paper and a pen there. And if it's like something I'm thinking about, I'll just write it down. And then it's not, but I'm not going to go and look at my phone. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. I keep my phone next to me. Oh. I'm, I'm, <laughs> does it go off? Like, like Gil keeps every once in a while. No, it doesn't. I have it said it doesn't go off at <sighps> night. but Every once in a while. And I keep it. it turned over so I can't see the light flashing. So like I cover uh, up yeah. so I, I don't want the light to bother me. But well, I do keep it there because I'm always afraid some, some emergency is going to happen. Sometimes and, he keeps it in the bedroom and then all of a sudden he forgets to put the do not disturb and all of a sudden like, and you get the, yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> this is extremely annoying. So, yes. Well, another tip is remember remember that sense of wonder you had when you were a child. Try to rediscover that as an adult. Like, you know, go to, to do something out of the ordinary. Go to a museum, um, go to a concert, take a walk outside under the stars. You know, some of those things that create that sense of awe and wonder that you, you know, we used to have before we were old and jaded. <laughs> And just sit, on our, and just sit on our patio with a glass of wine right. now and look at the stars. And it's like, oh, I'm I seeing love, stars. Yeah. I, I have a, We actually have a telescope. And when Alexis was oh, little. Oh, that's we, fun. We have it. It's it's a nice, real cool brass that's one. That's fun. And we could take it out on the. Oh, that's what we can do the next time you come over. Let's take that out. We'll have a glass of wine. Yeah. And look at the stars. There you go. Awesome. Right. <laughs> and, we can, and we can eat lots of healthy foods while we're there. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we try to do, too, is, you know, like in the evening, we get busy and and we're trying to talk and we're trying to catch up and we don't always get, you know, you like to debrief with your spouse at the end or your partner at the end of the evening. But make a point of going out for a walk and talking. So leave your phones at home and have that evening conversation and take a walk at the same time. You get you get a little bit of exercise and you get to, you know, connect with your partner at the end of the day. That's well. And now I think there are so many walking paths around. Yeah, and Central High alone. You can go from like you could go from Hilliard all the way down to in Dublin, all the way downtown. So there are lots of things that you can do like that. Or another thing you can yep. even do is um, we have friends that have a tandem bike, and they Aww. like to bike. And See, so we'd have a problem because we would both want to steer. Like somebody's got to be. Oh. Con- yeah, that would not work. Like, cap- <laughs> like the captain of the ship. <laughs> yeah, that's that tandem. But we thought about that. And we're like, no, that no, wouldn't. No. No. Tom, we do. Tom, we do bike ride. So, but we not each tandem. have our own. Each have your own. Okay. Bikes. Well, yeah. there's also things you can do to help. You know, when you're sleeping, um, it's like a nightly routine that you can actually do. Um, and I do some of these things. The first thing, like we talked about, is turn off all the electronic devices and take them out of the bedroom. Of course, you're not going to do that, but some people will. So that's what they're going to do. And what else can you do? I bet you you'd like to do the next one. I, not so much. I am not no, a not, hot bath person. I'm not either. I'm a shower girl. Yeah. I I mean, but it is relaxing. I mean, on occasion, you know, if you're not feeling well or you, you need to, you've pulled a muscle, you can take a bath. But I'm not a, an evening bath Person. I can't even remember the last time I took a bath. I don't have time for that. And I got a big old jacuzzi tub in my bedroom yeah. or my bathroom, but I never. I like the it. idea of it. I mean, often I think, oh, that would be lovely, but I just, it's, I, don't, I don't like the, t- I don't <laughs> the time like it, it takes. If, I don't really like it if someone was there, like giving my shoulders a massage <laughs> maybe. and have a maybe glass of bubble. Maybe that's it. If I was in a spa, perhaps. Yeah, that would but, be different. Yeah. That would be different. Well, another thing that I absolutely do, and Kudos to you because you gave me a pair and I just wear them all. The time. I had to go buy them more. <laughs> I got them. Where was it? The Gap? Yes. Yeah, the Gap PJs. Uh, nice Gap and soft. pajamas. They are the softest things in the world. And they came with an eye mask. <laughs> I love them so much. I went back and bought another pair with an eye mask. They are my favorite all-time they are PJs. soft <gasps> and 
Yes. Oh, they I have just their current, PJ pants too. I just, they're so nice. They are. They're, they're the best gift ever, girlfriend. <laughs> uh huh. Um, well, another suggestion is a cup of tea before bed. Um, I don't know. As once you get to a certain age, I'm not sure tea before bed is a good idea because then you're up like five times during the night. So I don't do that. But. Yeah, I, I, yes, I no, I would not do tea either. The other thing that I I, I don't do because I fall asleep is I can't read in bed. Oh, I, fall see, I do. Do you? I do like to read in bed. That is relaxing for me. Like if I'm if I need to unwind, I will pick up. Well, a I can really relax like a half a page and I'm asleep. You're, so well, I never, see, it works. I'm never going to get through. <laughs> Clearly, the book. it works for you. <laughs> no, I can. I can now. I can lay in bed and read the paper. But that that's really more, yeah. I can do that, but I cannot read a book oh. in bed. No, I'm I'm out. You know, I, I find like the read book in bed. on me, and that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Well, I think those are some great tips to... I feel relaxed already. feel better? Yes, I do. Thanks for listening to the Dollar Saving Divas. If you have ideas for an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Just head to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dollar saving divas CBUS and share your comments. Our podcast is available on iTunes, iHeartMedia, or your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening. Circle270media.com.